today I'm going to play golf nine holes using the world's smallest blades. It's going to be interesting because these clubs are very difficult to hit. Now, a few months ago, I reviewed these in the home simulator, but it's now time to take them out on the golf course. These Cobra Rev 33, the irons that Ricky Fowler had all that input about making. The irons that are so unforgiving that I am terrified of bad shots, even in this heat today. The irons that are so difficult to hit, even after 33 iterations, Ricky Fowler still hasn't even got these irons in the bag. Let's go and play nine holes. Can I break par? This could be interesting. I've got four to pitching wedge. I'm nervous, I'm excited. It's the hottest day of the year so far. And yes, I'm rocking shorts. I'm trying to get these legs a little bit more tanned. I know they're a bit white at the moment. Let's go. Nine holes using these bad boys. Okay, first hole I'm playing is here, the 10th hole. Um, it's 380 to the middle of the green. I'll be honest, I don't fancy starting things off with a five iron because it's quite a warm day. Let's go six, let's get it down there. I feel like the four iron needs a few warm up shots first. Now I'll try not to say it too many times in this video, but these iron heads are absolutely tiny. The definition of a blade of these. Now, typically good players play with blades because it gives them more feel, more workability, but the downside, forgiveness levels are non-existent. If I don't hit these absolutely in the middle of the club face with a good strike, one, it's going to hurt my hands, and two, the golf shot's going to be pretty atrocious. So I've got to be fine in the middle. Nice smooth one off the first hole. Oh, that felt good. But when you hit them in the middle, there's not many irons that feel as good as a blade. Good, strong start. Now, I might be a glutton for punishment, but my cameraman has just made a suggestion how to make this challenge even harder. Every time I don't par a hole, he's going to take a club out my bag. If I birdie one, do I get a club back? Okay, we'll take that then. Right, so now this could... I mean, I might be finishing the last hole with just one club. <laughs> I better hit some good shots now. A little five iron into this green. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful. If that's just simmered down, it needs to put the brakes on. That was right over the top of the flag. Good start so far. And you might have noticed, even making this challenge stupidly tough, I've not got any lofted wedges past the pitching wedge. So if I find any bunkers, or if I've got to hit some really high flighted wedges, I'm not going to be able to. <laughs> I think I'm through the back of the green. It looks so good in the air as well. Yeah, look at this. Uh-oh. I've only got a pitching wedge from here. So, I must admit, I think wedge is probably just about enough loft. If I land it about here, just on the front of the green, and let the contours take it round to the hole, if I was any further back, I'd definitely need more loft. Simmer. Simmer, great for speed, terrible for line. I've got that for par. Okay, little tester on the first, left to right. Greens look absolutely perfect. Pretty flat, put a nice stroke on it. No, pulled it. That's a club out the bag on the first hole. <laughs> Nightmare. <laughs> I'm inter interested to know what club you're going to pick. Which one are you going to take? Seven iron. Interesting choice. Not the worst choice. I thought you could have got a lot worse there. You could have gone pitching wedge or four iron. Okay, second hole, par three, up the hill. Um, I must admit, you've been sly there because I reckon it would be a normal seven iron. So, I'm gonna have to try and hit a soft six. I was wondering why you took the seven. Makes sense now. I'm just gonna make sure I put this in the middle of the green. Oh, be good. Oh, be nice. We might be getting that seven back, everybody. We might be getting that seven iron straight back in the bag. That was perfect. Love that shot. Okay, very, very pleased with that shot. Controlled it nicely. 
sets me up for a nice birdie opportunity. Come on, Rick, you got this. Oh, you didn't hit it. You didn't hit it. Oh, that is very frustrating. Ouch, that was a weak putt. Okay, this hole, I normally whip driver out and smash it towards the green with a hope of trying to get it close. Today, that's not the play because, one, if I hit it too far, I've not got enough loft. So even if I hit a four iron here, I'm gonna to be too close to the green because the hole's only 315 yards. So let's think about this, let's reverse this. If I wanna hit a full pitching wedge into the green, that's about 130 yards. So then I need to hit a shot that goes about 175 yards. Um, 175 is not, I must admit, that's probably normally my seven iron again. So I'll go with the six. I've been enjoying hitting the six so far. Now, the only thing with hitting a six iron off this tee is a couple of bunkers in the fairway, just right and left, that I don't normally see because I'm normally hitting it over that. It means that I've got to be even more precise with this iron off the tee. Come on. That is wet. I have just hooked that <laughs> into the water hazard on the left hand side. Wow. I've never, ever been in that water hazard. Oh my God. Right, we'll have to take a drop down there. I'm absolutely gutted. What a stupid golf shot. <laughs> I've got to be honest, making par from here now is going to be near impossible. I've got to take a drop, I've got to pitch it close and knock it in, that's my only option. Or I'm going to lose another club. At this rate, I might be playing the last hole with just one golf club left in the bag. Oh, damn. Okay, so this is roughly where it went in, so I'm going to have to take a drop here. That's roughly two clubs. Okay. Uh, 140 yards left into the flag. I can't even see the flag, oh, it's there. 140, I'm not gonna get there with pitching wedge. It's gonna have to be a really well hit nine iron. And then try and stop it on this green as well is gonna be very difficult. Come on. I've hit that so nicely. Be the club. It should be on the green and putting, but it's not super close. It's gonna be a long range put for par. Okay, this is where we finished. That's actually not a bad shot from back there. I got the distance absolutely bob on. But this is a long range birdie, uh, sorry, par put now. Come on. Go in, go in. Oh, you're joking me. Oh, you are kidding. That was a good putt. I thought I had it. That is another bogey. That is another club out of the bag. Oh, I thought I had that. Okay, what are you going to take this time? Interesting, the six iron has gone. Okay, so this is the 13th. So 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Six holes to go, five irons left in the bag. So I can't afford to make any more mistakes. And the tricky thing is, as soon as I do make a mistake, I make a bogey, I lose a club and it gets harder. It's almost like a snowball effect. It's par five and it's time for without question the hardest club in the bag to hit. This is the four iron. Now when I actually reviewed these uh, clubs in the home studio, this was the club I was terrified about hitting just because it is so tiny, tiny, small. Now at home, there was no real consequence. Here there is trees, water, hazards. This has to come out like a bullet. And because it's a par five, I've kind of got to hit this full out really. All right, come on. No more mistakes. Pars and birdies coming home. That's what we want to see. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> oh, I love that. Doesn't feel like it's gone super far. I've got to be honest with you. 
feel flight was sensational. It's a strong start to this hole. Not as scary as I thought. <laughs> he says after hitting a good one. Second shot on this par five after hitting a great first one. Uh, I've got it four iron again because I'm 200. And... In fact, no, four iron's not the play, is it? I want to leave myself about 130 yards in. So I've got it about a 150 club. I'll hit the eight iron. Then I'll leave myself a wedge left in. Water left, bunkers right. Time to find the fairway. Oh, that's so nice. A1 position. After that perfect layup, I've left myself 135 yards to the flag, which is what I wanted, if I'm honest. So, this is a pitching wedge. Straight at it with a wedge. It's time to get a club back, I hope. Travel, travel, go in. Oh, <laughs> it was dancing around the flag. I didn't think it had got there at first, but it's plenty enough club, pin high, putting for birdie. That's how close it landed, like right next to the flag. Little bit of draw spins, pulled it round to there. Let's see if I can finish it off with the nicest of putts. It's this club that's letting me down today. It's not the irons, it's my putter. Well, at least I didn't lose a club, but I didn't get one back. The good news, I should be able to finish the round at least now. Ah, that was frustrating. Uh, I must admit, I'm enjoying playing with these irons. Uh, bar the shot I hit into the water a couple of holes ago, I felt like I've hit them really nicely. I suppose though, any time when you're slightly off centre, like that particular shot, you do get more punished. But when hit out the middle, something about a blade that just feels different. Right, par three coming up. I think it's gonna be a very, very soft nine iron to that flag. Probably playing about 140. Oh, it just turned. Ah, oh, <laughs> it's massive actually. <laughs> Oh, for such an inviting pin, that is a very uninviting putt for the next one. Ah, frustrating. I thought I was going to be good as well. Okay, not my finest iron shot. I was hoping to get a lot cl closer on this par three. Big, long, sweeping putt, left to right, most of the way. Come on, can't afford to make any sloppy mistakes here now. Slow down. Oh, I've gone very pacey. Oh, I've gone very, very pacey. Aggressive, why did I hit it so hard? I feel like if this doesn't go in, you should take my putter out my bag, not another iron. This has to drop. Do not make a silly mistake on this hole. Take this club, take that. I don't, don't deserve to take an iron out of my bag. You take my putter, another bogey. Oh, it's not the iron's fault. Keep that club. Damn. <sighs> right, I've had a minute to calm down. I need my putter back, can't have that. You can take one of my irons. Go on, which one are you gonna take? The four iron. Just when I was getting on with it, you take it out of the bag, right? We're down to four irons and we've got four more holes to go. Ah, this challenge, I thought I could overcome this. I'm currently three over. I've lost three clubs. We've got four holes left to go. Par four, sweeping dog leg down the hill. I've not got my four iron anymore. I'm gonna have to hit a five iron. Problem is, unless I hit my five iron to eight iron distance, I've not got a club that reaches the green. Unless I go five iron, five iron. Either way, come on. Let's bullet one down there. Oh, it's a bit drawy. It's taking the tiger line. 
It's going to be in the left rough, but fingers crossed it's missed the bunker there because that could be very tricky if I'm in there. Right, I found it up down the left hand side, not in an ideal position because look at this, look what I'm faced. Pin is 160 yards. Um, I've got to get clear the trees, get it to come down soft enough and land quick and stop quick. 160. Probably a nice A tie. Now this really is where blades should come into their own. The fact that you can manipulate them and work the golf ball. I've got to play almost a very, very high flighted A tie in here. Oh wow. Oh wow. Get there, ball. Go, big bounce. Oh, we are on the green, everybody. Can you see that? Zoom right edge, right front edge, as the ball's just trickling down that bank. That golf ball went so outrageously high. Okay, this is where it finished, front edge. I've got a big right to left swinging putt from here. It's all about the speed and the line. <laughs> I've got to go so far to the right. Go, 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 go. Rick, your putting is horrendous. Oh, <laughs> so bad. Cannot get it close to the hole today. This really, really has to go in. I cannot afford another three putt. Thankfully, we keep the four clubs, three clubs to go, three holes to go, should I say. Okay, five iron off this tee, par four up the hill. Hopefully, let me just check. Hopefully I can carry those bunkers up the right hand side. Oh, I don't know actually. No, I'm gonna have to play left of those bunkers with the five iron. It's gonna be a long way in from there, right? Come on. Nice. Very nice. If I could hit golf shots like that all the time, every time hit out the middle, I would comfortably play with blades this small. Comfortably. Okay, found the middle of the fairway, which I'm pleased about. However, looking at my distance away from the flag, I don't know if I've, oh. I might just be able to get eight iron there, just. So I've got eight iron, five iron, nine iron, and pitching wedge left. Yeah, eight iron, just a little bit down breeze it is from here. Oh, I don't know if I've hit it well enough. Travel, couple of big bounces, bounce, bounce. Oh, I just didn't quite catch it, and in hindsight, I didn't quite have the club. Eight, seven, nine, I think was needed from there. I'm not far away though, but just didn't quite get every single bit of the golf ball. Yeah, so I wasn't far away, just a club short. Now, normally I'd put this, normally I get my putter out and put it, but my putting's been so bad today. It's how bad it's been. It's actually gonna force me to chip. <laughs> so I'm gonna play a little nine iron, chip and run to the back of the green. Desperate times if I feel like my chipping's more, com I'm more confident with my chipping than with my putter. That's actually quite nice. Yeah, very nice, slightly pulled it offline, but perfect for distance. Considering it's the hottest day of the year so far, this putter has been the coldest golf club in the world until now hopefully for par left to right <laughs> oh my goodness me I think it might be time for a new putter everybody two holes to go and you're going to take another club out my bag. You're happy with yourself, aren't you? <laughs> Go on then, what are you going to take? Oh, the 
pitching wedge. Down to three, five iron, eight iron, nine iron. And I've got a par, short par four and a par five to finish. I actually don't feel like it's the iron's fault. I feel like it's the putter that's really been letting this video down, this challenge down. But anyway, so be it. Okay, 290 yard par four. It's normally, again, it's driver on this hole. I'd be going for the green. Sometimes it's even three wood. Today I've not got that luxury. Let me think about this because now you've taken my pitching wedge, I have to lay back to about 140 yards. So it's 100, 290, take away 140 is 150. Is it nine iron, nine iron? No, I'll go, I'll go eight iron, soft, soft, soft nine, hopefully. Yeah, it might be a fraction. Oh, that's all right. That's good. Oh, no, maybe not. That might be in the rough left-hand side, annoyingly. One thing, I feel like I have to make par on this hole because with the par five coming up next, if you take that five iron out of the bag, it's going to be almost impossible for me to make par. And I really want to try and make a birdie with two holes to go. This ain't ideal. Um, I'm 116 yards away from the flag. I'd want my gap wedge normally. I've not got a gap wedge, I've not got a pitching wedge. So I'm gonna have to chip a little nine iron in there. Land it short, run it up. So these clubs are supposed to be workable, playable. Well, let's see if that's the case. Get lucky, hit the bank. gone absolutely massive <laughs> that has gone 20 yards long i think you know what obviously i'm having a bit of fun with this video coming out playing nine holes today with what, what really are the world's smallest blades but sometimes if you've got time on your own and you want to go and play nine holes it's actually a really good exercise to do it teaches you different skills how to play different shots drop the woods out your bag, just go out with a few irons, and it's amazing how creative you can be, and it'll work in your favor for next time you go and play golf with a full set of clubs. It's worth trying. Okay, so I smashed that through the back of the green. Luckily it pulled up just short of the real rubbish. But I've only got a nine iron, that's my most lofty club now. So I've got to try and bump it into this little bank short of the green, hop it up and hopefully it nestles close. Sit, 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 sit. Ah. <laughs> Difficult at the best of times. Never mind, we're just a nine iron. Come on, Rick. Big left to right. You know what it is? I don't like putting with shorts on. I've just figured it out. I don't like looking down at my legs when I'm putting. <laughs> right. Uh, you're going to have to take another club, which means I'm going to have to play the last hole with just two clubs in the bag. Go on then. I think I know what it's going to be. Great. Par five coming up. Eight and nine, nine left in the bag. Okay, final hole, par five, 500 yards. Uh, let me try and do some quick maths. If I hit my eight iron, around about 165 yards, maybe 170 if it bounces. 170, 340. Ah, oh, should be about right, it's about 500 yards. So hopefully three, three eight irons should get me there or thereabouts. If I just make a par or a birdie on this hole, a bit delighted it's been a fun little challenge i've enjoyed it but i'll enjoy it even more if i can make a birdie down this last hole stop 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 turning stop turning yeah it's all right actually not in the fairway but only just off second shot a time it is Perfect. Okay, 
last shot playing into this par five. I've actually hit two nice shots to here. I'm actually, <laughs> oddly enough, too close to the green. I'm 130 yards away. I've got the nine iron in hand, so I've got to hit a soft one. Come on, Rick, I just want to finish with a nice little, nice little birdie. Let's stick this one in close. Take the hop and spin. Spin! Oh! Oh! Yards! Too long. A few yards, that was it. I think it's just... Might have just held onto the back of the green annoyingly. Oh, it looks so good in the air as well. Okay, so to finish this challenge off, it actually held onto the back edge of the green. So I don't know if it's any better, but I am putting for birdie on the last hole. Guys, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you smash like. Playing golf with the world's smallest blades, it's certainly been a challenge, one that's, that's uh, won against me today. But it has been good fun. Right, right to left. Let's finish off with one putt that drops in the hole. That's absolutely awful. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that is awful. Guys, thanks for watching. It wasn't the blades that particularly beat me. I think it was this putter today. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>